Hi, John here and this is Up For Excel. Today we're going to be going through dual axis charts. I'm starting with some basic sales and profit numbers here. Quickly highlight all that using the shortcut keys Control Shift and the arrows and then Alt F1 to produce a quick chart. One of the noticeable things about it is that the profit numbers are considerably smaller than the sales numbers. So it's very hard to see if, a, other than start doing some calculations, whether a particular month or quarter as it is here is particularly profitable or not. So it would be nice to increase the size of those profit bars in some way. One very quick way of doing that is to create a dual access chart and that is what we're going to do right now. simple way to create a dual axis chart is you click on the series on the chart that you want to display on a second axis and then if you go to this format data series at the side here on the right hand side and click on series options you will see that you can simply select secondary axis straight away what that's done is put them on top of each other which is probably not exactly what we what we want to see so we've got various different options here. We can change the gap width, sorry, make one wider or narrower so that we can see them one or the other. We could change our chart type to a combo chart type where we could show one as a line, for example. So that's not bad. So we've done that. So change that to a line. Straight away, we've got something where we're showing a separate line of what our profitability would look like. And that's actually quite a reasonable way of showing it. And it shows that straight away you can see Q4 was particularly profitable because not only did it have the highest absolute profit, but it also exceeded its sales bar, even though it's on a joint dual axis. Whereas say quarter four in Q17 might have had more sales here, but it had a lower profit margin. So that is a really quick and simple way to create a dual axis chart.